Radon is a radioactive substance known for causing lung cancer. It is so dangerous, homeowners are asked to test for radon every two years. But what about our schools? Valley News Team's education reporter Veronica Marshall found out you might be surprised how often our local schools are tested and what lawmakers are proposing to do about it. You can't smell it, you can't see it. There's no way to know if it's there unless you test for it. Lars Knobloch has been testing homes for radon since 2011 and says it's a crucial step families can take to stay safe. Any space you spend a significant amount of time is, is a space where you maybe want to know what the radon actually is. According to the CDC, when you breathe in radon, radioactive particles can get trapped in your lungs, which increases your risk of lung cancer. The EPA and the Surgeon General's office say radon is responsible for more than 20,000 lung cancer deaths each year. To cut down on those deaths, people are asked to test their homes, but what about schools? I asked our local districts about the last time they tested their schools for radon. Fargo and West Fargo both said they either don't have the documentation or they've never tested their schools for radon. Moorhead Public Schools tells me the last time they tested was in 1989. At the time, Robert Asp registered the highest levels of radon. That's, you know, definitely high, higher numbers that are shown in, in these test results and, and um, shows exactly why you maybe want to have all the schools tested. Currently, testing for radon isn't mandatory for schools, but there are movements to change that. You have some uh, hidden... Uh, uh, killer like this and and have the school is not even not even bother to test for it. it's just just disgraceful during tuesday night's board meeting moorhead public school superintendent brandon lunak said even though radon testing is expensive and intensive the district should be proactive and prepared for the changes ahead kids are the future so if we want to keep them around we might as well you know and if, if there's something that in the air that could cause issues down the road then why wouldn't we Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. Governor Dayton says if the legislature can't act on it this session, he'll look into an executive order or other means to require schools to test for radon.